This story comes to us from WREG.com. A man shooting inside a Collierville Kroger Thursday afternoon has left 12 people injured and one victim dead. The suspect, who was the shooter, is also dead. Police Chief Dale Lane said, It breaks my heart to have to stand here before you today because we've had an incident here in Collierville that has been occurring all over the country. Speaking at a press conference outside the Memphis suburb Kroger, Chief Lane called the shooting the most horrific event that's occurred in Collierville history. At least one person is dead and 12 others are hurt this morning after a suspect just started shooting inside of a grocery store in Tennessee. This was the scene yesterday in Collierville. Police reportedly got there on the scene just four minutes after that first 911 call. Officers say the shooter died of what appeared to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Authorities are still working to figure out why this happened. Dispatch had received a call of an active shooter at 1.30 p.m. Lane said the first car arrived on the scene four minutes later. Our cars began to flood the area to secure the scene as we entered the building there and there were multiple people shot. Lane confirmed 13 victims. Our hearts go out to those that were injured. We do have one fatality and our thoughts and prayers are with those family members. While securing the store, the Collierville police chief said they found people hiding all over. He says, we found people hiding in freezers and locked offices. They were doing what they had been trained to do, run, hide, fight. Hey, we're here with Bridgetta Dickerson. She's worked here for about 32 years, and she says she was working on the cash register when the shooting happened. Can you tell us a little bit about what happened? All I know is when I heard uh, it happened, it first started in the deli, and I heard some gunshots. We thought it was balloons popping. So when it kept on going, we said, no, there's gunshots. So I ran. Some of my some of my co-workers and some of the customers came and we ran and I kept on saying go 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 so we ran to the back of the store by the meat department and there's some double doors that would take you to our break room so we ran all the way back and there's some more customers that was coming in but they was coming in through the meat department through that back part and I told them you all come on let's hurry and then all of a sudden I went through the receiving department and there's another door that takes you outside the receiving department and there's a, another opening where you can go in and hide through a like an incinerator and and here he comes right behind us starts shooting and he kept on shooting 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 he shot one of my co-workers in the head and then shot one of my one of the customers in the stomach and then my other customer got kind of like cuts because of the uh, asphalt mm -hmm. Lane also confirmed the shooter was dead, possibly from a self-inflicted gunshot. Their vehicle was also still in the parking lot as officers were waiting on additional equipment to safely check the store. The investigation, or maybe the vehicle, right? The investigation is ongoing and Lane added the situation will likely change as they learn more. So then they had a press conference. Um, another shooting, right? Another shooting. But I did see a little glimpse of the guy, and I saw he had like a little service gun, a big, one of the service rifles that's in the military. And all I heard was just the gunshots, and I'm like, we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. God got us. He's covering us, so we're going to be okay. Can you give us a description of what he looked like? I can't really give you that much of a description. All I heard saw was black hair and his eyes. I don't, I, I can't tell you a lot, because I don't want to point fingers at no one or say anybody else about it that's all I know was it it was a gentleman it was a guy and you said you took at least six people with you I had five including myself and six so it's three employees and three customers what ended the shooting the police came and all of a sudden they started shooting I mean they uh well he actually went back into the store and the cops just you know, circled around, tried to check and see if anybody was okay. He came in where we were and said, we right here, we got four people, sh uh, four people shot, which is actually three people were shot because one just got cut in the eye with the asphalt. And they, he asked, they asked us, are we okay? I said, I'm fine. 
and the lady that I was helping out, she was fine, everybody was fine. You know, ever since George Floyd was murdered, this country has just taken a turn for the worse. I don't know what is going on in this country. Can anybody tell me what is going on in America today? I know, look, we've had shootings for years. McDonald's, they had a guy walk in there and start shooting people. A sniper took him out. Police sniper. Uh, that was in 1983? 80, I don't know, 80-something. 80 but my point is, for 30-something years, we've had this, this has been going on, but it seems like it's getting worse and worse and worse and worse. More shootings, more gunplay. When I'm looking for stories for the police, all I see is this one shot, that one shot, this one was shot, that one was killed, this one was shot. Store shootings, school shootings. What is going on? Can you let me know? Emotionally, how are you feeling at this moment? I'm a little bit still kind of a little shaky, but I'm okay. I got I got God on my side and I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm good.